Fragmental episode <coughs> Black Influence As a white influencer and in the interests of full transparency, we must inform you that Black Influence and Sublime Mood were sent to this influencer free of charge. The lure of a free bottle of Black Influence has in no way influenced this white influencer into providing a dishonest opinion that may influence you into purchasing something that is not dope. Whilst Black Influence has a boozy accord, this white influencer was not under the influence during the filming of this potentially influential video. If this video influences you to purchase Black Influence and you are not happy with your purchase, please bear in mind the white influencer presenting this potentially influential video on the fragrance Black Influence was being completely honest when giving their potentially influential opinion. With that being said, without any further ado, let's go right ahead and do this! Hi everyone, welcome back to Fragmento, thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm talking about what I think is a very sexy scent from the house of Suskind. Stay tuned to FM. The fragrance I'm talking about today is called Black Influence. This was released by the house of Suskind, which are a Parisian house in 2016. It's part of their Discovery collection. Each of their fragrances comes in a 30ml bottle in an Eau de Parfum concentration. Here are the notes. Wearing a tux, you confidently stride into a classy bar. You're looking smooth. Sitting at the bar is a very attractive lady, perhaps the most attractive lady you've ever seen. As you sit down next to her, you can smell a sweet, sensual perfume. You can't quite place it, but you know there's vanilla involved. She's wearing bright red perfectly applied lipstick. You almost get a wisp of a playful iris lipstick accord dancing under your nose but never boldly announcing itself. As your eyes meet, she smiles warmly and you know you'll be comfortable in her presence. The bartender arrives, you order two whiskey and cokes, one for you, one for the lady. As you slide her drink across to her, the conversation begins. And well into the early hours, you laugh, joke and chat. You feel like you've known her forever. So that was just a little story to convey to you the kind of imagery that this fragrance conjures for me. So I'm just going to have a little spray just to remind myself of the opening. And the first thing I get with this is a lovely, smooth, boozy accord, even though there are no boozy notes listed in this. There's also a hint of iris, but it's just a wisp of iris. It's not a bold, lipsticky type of chord. And the other thing that this reminds me of is a whiskey and Coke. I get a bit of a Coca-Cola vibe off this. I'm not quite sure what it is that's, um, that's combining to, uh, to create this Coca-Cola vibe, but I do get it. And that booziness just reminds me of a whiskey and Coke. I mean, I can almost feel the Coke fizzing on my tongue when I smell this fragrance. It also has a woody resinous nature to it and a deep, smooth, rounded sweetness. I'd say it's pretty linear. I don't think it really develops that much from start to finish. It's not overly complex, but it doesn't need to be. I love the composition of this fragrance. It's so smooth and sweet and sexy. I'm happy that it doesn't really develop that much, or at least it doesn't on me. Maybe it would differ from person to person, but I find black influence to be sweet, smooth, sexy, and alluring. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a fragrance that you may be familiar with, Diorum Parfum. The iris in this, again, not listed, but I do feel like it's there, and other people have mentioned that they get an iris accord from this one as well, but it's not bold, it's not overly dominant like it is in Diorum Parfum. It's much more subtle and a little bit more playful, and I also get a bit more booziness from this than I get with Diorum Parfum, and that fragrance also has a hint of leather, which this one doesn't have, but I'm going to talk in a minute about how to just spice things up a little bit with this one and make it even more intense. Not that it needs it, but it's an option if you wanted it to. 
So if you love Dior en Parfum, I think you'd really like this one. If you don't like Dior en Parfum because of that Irish note, I know that particularly some guys say it's just too floral, uh, reminds them too much of a makeup bag with that lipsticky type accord, then because it isn't as strong in this, then you may very well get on with this one. Let's talk about performance of this. So I would describe the projection as relatively soft. It is there, but it's not boldly shouting out. I think it's projecting and giving a scent bubble that's maybe half an arm's length. But the longevity is what is really amazing about this. For a fragrance that doesn't project and fill a whole room, the longevity is very impressive. I get eight to 10 hours out of this. So kind of soft, sensual projection, but fantastic longevity. I'd say it's definitely unisex. You could wear this for pretty much any occasion, but for me, it would excel as a date night scent or a formal occasion scent. In the autumn or the winter, possibly even the spring, it may just be a little heavy for the summer. Although, if your summers are a little cooler, like they can be here in the UK, then I think you could even get away with this on some cooler summer days too. The price of this is only 43 euros on Suskin's website. If you order over 59 euros of products, I believe it's free shipping. I think that is, um, I think that applies from their website, so shipping from France to the UK. So I'm not 100% sure whether that applies to shipping to the States. I think if you're in the States, you can order from Suskin's website. Another option for you though is uh, Door Perfumes. So Door Perfumes based, I believe, in California. Um, I think do stock this product, so I will leave a link down below for Suskin's website and for Door Perfume's website. I describe Black Influence as being a pretty smooth, laid back, quietly confident type of scent, but there is a way to make it a bit more intense, a bit more assertive. And Suskind also sent me another product, and this is called Sublime Oud. I think it's currently um, labelled on their website as L'Original Oud on Suskin's website and it is more expensive than the Discovery Collection. This comes in at 180 euros but it is a very high quality Cambodian Oud. The presentation is beautiful for an Oud oil. You can see it comes in this glass um, vial which is really quite weighty. It's, it's very heavy and chunky, got a lovely weight to it and the top just screws off like this and then you have a um, uh, like a dabber stick um, attached to the lid which is what you use to apply. So um, really nice presentation of this one. So I tried this. I'm a bit trepidatious with oud sometimes. I don't like oud to be too skanky, too barnyard. I have tried some ouds that I really enjoy, that I could absolutely wear on their own, but I don't think they're pure. I think they are mixed with uh, other notes as well. So <laughs> I tried this and um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> this, this is strong stuff. It's got this strange character to it because it's not immediately repulsive. It doesn't make you want to run a mile from it. There's something about it that just does draw you in. There is something that you want to keep smelling about it, but at the same time, there's something that does repel you away from it. So it's this real funny relationship that I have with this. I actually, um, just for a bit of amusement, I asked my daughter to smell this. She's six years old and I just wafted it under her nose. And uh, within about two seconds, she said, oh, it smells like horse poo. So yes, it is very skanky. It does have that, that barnyard type of accord that is often used to um, to describe really strong ouds, but this is just because it's in its purest form. So I knew straight away that I was never going to wear this on its own. Not for me at all. I think some people may enjoy just wearing pure oud uh, on its own, but, but definitely not me. So I thought I would try layering this with Black Influence. And I learned the hard way that you only need the tiniest, tiniest amount of this. When I first um, put this on, this is what I did. So I had loads of oud oil on here and I lathered it on my wrists, both wrists, both sides of my neck. I was painting it on, drenching myself in this oud and uh, yep, all over the back of my neck as well. And then I sprayed Black Influence, made sure I put 
a reasonable amount on just so um, it wasn't completely dominated by the um, by the oud um, well basically it was I left the house and I was really smelling pretty potent and I had to go to the post office and pick up a parcel and the post office I go to um, you pick up your parcels in this really quite tiny room and there's often quite a few other people in there queuing up for the parcels and I, I'd been smelling it. It wasn't until I got in the car that I realised how potent and how strongly I was smelling of this uh, pure oud. And I pulled up at the post office and I went into the little room and there were loads of people in there and I was just standing there with my head down a little bit because I knew I was reeking of, of this really potent oud and they probably wondered what that scent was that, that had just walked into the room. Anyway, I got my parcel and quickly ran away and, uh, and came home. And um, yeah, so I learned the hard way that really when you apply this, you just need literally one little dab perhaps on each of your pulse points. No more than that, it's just a dab, and then apply the regular fragrance. In this case, I use Black Influence, but it could be a fragrance of your choice. And what that will do is, it will just give Black Influence, or whichever fragrance, just a bit more attitude, a bit more potency, make it a little more assertive, and just change its character slightly from this kind of smooth laid back to this um, smooth but um, but more overtly bold and confident. So if you like fragrances perhaps like uh, Nassimato Pardon and uh, Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud that do have that oody punchiness to them and if that helps you generate a bit of confidence, gives you a bit of swagger, then that's what applying this Oud is going to do. So I really enjoyed it. I thought the juxtaposition between the potent oud and the and the smooth laid back black influence worked really. So that's how to use an oud like this and I've got to say it was a real treat combining it with black influence. Okay so those are my thoughts on black influence. It's well worth trying out. It's really good value. I can definitely recommend it. It's certainly a fragrance that I really enjoy wearing. Have you tried this one? Um, if you're going to try it after this video, then please come back and leave some comments. I think everyone else viewing this video would be very curious to see what other people think about it, not just me. So please leave some comments. Also, have you used really strong pure oud? Do you layer it with anything? Um, let me know what you like to layer it with. Leave some suggestions. Again, that could be very useful for me and for everyone else watching this video. Okay, time for me to turn the camera off. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you found it useful and remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.